My name is Dylan. I've been a demon for 200 years. Today is my last day. I've seen every continent, tried every food, sucked the souls out of thousands of children. I can't live with it anymore. It has to end. Nathan, put that down. I was infected as a child. I don't even remember where I was born. It was so long ago. There are only two ways to cure me, both hard. But now, I have a lead on the easiest one. I'm gonna take it. I finally tracked down a child with blood type P. You haven't heard of blood type P? Well, it is rare. One child a year is born with it. I never kill the kids, just take enough energy to keep me going. But the energy from a blood type P will cure me. <coughs> I can finally finish my sad life as a human. And that child is in this class. Billy, towards attention. Doug, that's it, the detention. Yes, Doug, today you will cure me. I'm telling you, he's a vampire. You're so stupid. How can our teacher be a vampire? Yeah, it's daylight for a start. Well, have you ever seen him in the playground since he joined last month? I've never seen any of the teachers in the playground. What makes you think he's a vampire? He has a book, a weird book. You've got like 50 books by Chris Riddles. Doesn't mean that you're a vampire. I read a bit of it, it's like a diary. What did it say? I drink from the children. He's probably writing a novel. Well, I know what I saw and I'm going to prove it. What have you been sticking your nose into this time, Lily? She thinks Mr. Dylan is a vampire. Are you actually serious? Who's ever heard of a vampire science teacher? He's actually okay. He gave Doug a detention. He is a vampire. I read it in his diary. We need to stop him before he kills everyone. Oh my god, we really are a head case. What are you gonna do? Stake him? Yeah, and you'll go to prison for life. No more, Lily. That sounds good. Look, we just need to run some tests. Are you saying you're going to try and find his true nature? Mr. Dylan might prove. He's always going on about empirical stuff. Suppose we do go along with this. What's your plan? I made my lair in the basement out of spit and straw, like a wasp. Those kids really take it out on me. But not as much as I take it out of them, obviously. Yes, yes. Off you go. Don't forget your detention later. Where am I? Actually, who am I? That didn't work. I'm going to have to... What is this? <laughs> Come on, who put this here? Not me, not, not me. me. Maybe it was there already, but I didn't spot it. Do you like garlic, sir? Love it. I've been to Italy many times. Mmm, lovely. I told you. <coughs> 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 
Can I get some water, please? Oh. <coughs> <coughs> I think I've got something stuck in my throat. You can get go, go to break up. <coughs> <coughs> oh. See, I told you. Yeah, it definitely looks suspicious. Not conclusive. It was for me, the cheek of it pretending to like garlic. No one likes raw garlic. My mum says it's good for your heart. So is this. Whoa. That's the biggest pencil I've ever seen. It's a steak, idiot. The only sure way to kill a vampire or demon. Don't you watch Buffy? Steaks don't kill demons. Just put it away and we'll all get expelled. Billie Eilish. I don't think Lily has any friends to bury. I don't believe in vampires. Do you think that's something wrong with Mr. Dillon? He gets too much in work. I don't mind um, any attention. It just saves me from doing more, more homework. But oh, anyone that gives our homework's a monster. Osceola! Hurry up, boy! Oh, no. Could I borrow you for a second? Yes, sir. What can I do? You see that building over there? Which one? Yes! Yes! <clears throat> um, anything else I can do? No, that's fine, no. Run along. Poor girl. Looks like she's been up on YouTube all night. She never was Einstein at science anyway. Come on, Nor. Why are you so slow? Mm -hmm. She's like I was yesterday. Mr. Dylan said I need more sleep. Yeah, he said that to me too. Nor, let me see your neck. Anything? Just that. We've got him after lunch again. I'll put a cross on his desk. Where are you going to find a cross? I'll make one out of cardboard. If it works, we'll know that Mr. Dillon's a vampire. If it doesn't, then we'll know that you can't make crosses out of cardboard. And Einstein's famous theory of relativity is... Ah! 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 <laughs> Come on, guys. Why have you been mucking about with my slides? I thought you were better than this. Do you feel OK, sir? I'm fine. Just disappointed. Poor dog. Only sucking his soul out worked. There's only one other way to cure me. Shame I had to do it. Nice lad. Come in, come in. Just stand there. He's got Doug. It's just a detention. I don't think so. What next? I'm gonna stake him. Okay, if you think it's for the best. I guess. Count me in. Doug, come here. Now. Yeah. What happened to your eyes? I thought you were a vampire. So that's what this silliness was about. Are you going to bite me? No, silly lad. I'm going to suck the soul out of your body. Well, look, what? No. I don't feel a thing. Where you look good. We're going to save Doug and stake Mr. Dillon. Are you in or out? In.
so I haven't killed anyone in 200 years. But the only way for me to throw off this curse is to kill you, to become human again. But I haven't done my homework yet. I can feel it. The curse is working. Finally done it. Finally human. Been through all this time. Dad, I'm dad. I'm, 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 I'm human. Dad, dad, you okay? What should we do now? What are we gonna do with his body? I'm hungry. Starving. Hungry. Ravenous. I could eat a horse. Or a dead teacher. <laughs>